Hello all, this video is on 7-in-1 NPK soil sensor which provides uh, soil moisture, temperature, electrical conductivity, pH, nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium values. It has got a sealed packing, vacuum sealed and it is waterproof and uh, weather resistant. It has got 5 pins and uh, 2 meter wire is provided and 4 color wires that is yellow and uh, blue or RS485 data wire and brown and black for power. We will be using MAX 13487 RS485 to TTL board for uh, communication between Arduino and this NPK sensor. It has got auto direction enabled. The uh, one available in the market is not uh, matching with this NPK sensor. So we will be using MX13487. Plug in the 5 pin uh, NPK sensor into the soil and then provide the power. We will be providing 12 volt 1 ampere. It, sub uh, it uh, supports up to 30 volt but we are using 12 volt. And for testing initially we will be using RS485 to USB converter like this which is built on CH340 driver. Let us connect the blue wire, that is a B, a blue wire to B and the yellow wire to A. This is for RS485 communication and plug in the USB device to uh, PC. Open the cool term serial software, click on options, select the port, that is a port allotted to the RS485 to USB. You should have installed CH340 driver for this and then select the baud rate as 4800. This is the baud rate of uh, NPK sensor which communicates with the Arduino. So no other baud rate is allowed and then click on connect and before that click on view hex to view the hex data. Click on connect and then to send the hex data go to connection and then click on send string and then select hex. We will be sending query data to the NPK sensor which is slave to get back the actual data. So we will be sending this uh, data as uh, first data is 01 which is the address of the NPK sensor, 03 is function code, 0000 is the register address from where we are going to read the data and then 4 bytes of data 0004 and finally the CRC uh, checksum value. First let us uh, retrieve 4 uh, data and then we will go for the 7 uh, data. So the checksum is important, very important. Note down the hex value of checksum. Finally, it is 44 and 09. Do not change this, otherwise you will not get the value. Now you click on send, you get back the uh, values of uh, soil moisture, temperature, EC and then pH. So we are uh, retrieving only 4 bytes of data. If you check up the data sheet, uh, totally we get back 13 bytes of uh, data the actual value of moisture is at byte 4 and 5 so initially it is a uh, uh, that is a at value 4 and 5 bytes we have the moisture value at 6 and 7 we have the temperature value 8 and 9 we have the ec 10 and 11 we have the ph value and finally 12 and 13 we have the crc value now let us send uh, uh, request for getting all the seven values go to send string select hex and then send this uh, hex data 0103 that is the register address and then 0007 which is the total number of uh, values we want from the register and then the checksum 0408 note down the checksum is changing do not change this uh, send this you get totally 19 bytes of data now the value at 12 and 13 bytes we have the nitrogen value, 14 and 15 we have the phosphorus, 16 and 17 K, 18 and 19 CRC and uh, the moisture temperature EC, pH and uh, pH values as, uh, as we seen earlier. Now let us see the connection, uh, a max 13487 let us connect the B plus that is a blue wire at B, B minus and the yellow wire at A plus that is the RS485 data and to Arduino let us connect the uh, VCC that is a 5 volt to 5 volt of 487 13487 ground to ground and connection is straight RX to RX TX to TX remember this it is not reverse RX to RX TX to TX as we are using software serial we declare the 
uh, in the code we declare a software serial with the rx pin as 2 and uh, tx pin as 3 and we initiate a my serial object with the baud rate 4800 remember this we have to use only this 4800 bytes only uh, in the loop function we first declare an array called query data which contains the query hex data we want to send to the npk sensor as we have seen earlier we send this query data address 0103 is the function code register address 0000 and then uh, register length let us use 0007 yes we require all the seven uh, data of the soil let us send the register length as 0007 and finally the checksum do not uh, modify this checksum this is very important otherwise you will not get any data and then we also declare an array called received data to store the received hex data from the sensor it is of uh, uh, type bytes and uh, total 19 bytes we will be receiving and then we use the my serial dot write to send the query data to the npk sensor using the write function of the software serial object after that we wait for one second using the delay function this is very important as we are uh, retrieving all the seven data this delay of one second is a must next we check for uh, if there is enough bytes available to read from the software serial buffer so we check using my serial dot uh, uh, read and if they if there are uh, bytes it reads the received data into the received data array using the read bytes function finally we print the received data in hex format to the serial monitor using a for loop and the serial dot print function this for uh, just for testing whether we are getting the all the 19 bytes of data now save this uh, code and then upload it in the serial monitor you will get all the 19 bytes of data uh, you can check the uh, data sheet for the position of the data that is the moisture value temperature ec ph uh, nitrogen jet value phosphorus and then potassium all these seven values are printed in hex format you can check from the data sheet for the position of the data in the next code let us pass the data for printing out so the code is same as uh, previous we send the query data to npk sensor with the register length 0007 so that we retrieve all the seven data of the soil and the received data is stored in the received data array to pass the received hex data from the NPK sensor, now let us use the uh, unsigned int variables soil humidity, soil temperature, conductivity, soil pH, nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium to store the past values. The parsing is done using bit shifting and bitwise OR operations on the received bytes. The high byte of the value is shifted left by 8 bits and then combined with the low byte using the bitwise OR operator. Finally, the parsed values are printed on the serial monitor using the serial.print and the serial.print line functions. Uh, these are the uh, that is the uh, two bytes of uh, uh, two bytes are converted to 16 uh, bit integers. The parsed value from soil humidity, temperature, and pH are divided by 10 before they are printed on the serial monitor. The other parsed values are printed without modification. Yes, uh, in the data sheet, it is uh, given that these three values are 10 times. So we divide by 10 to get the correct values. Note that the soil humidity, temperature, and soil pH values are cast to float before division to ensure the result is floating point number. In the received data array, the values for soil humidity, soil temperature, soil conductivity, pH, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium are all represented as two byte unsigned integers in big Indian format. That means the most significant byte MSB of the integer is stored in the lower index of the array and the least significant LSB is stored in the higher index. To extract the two byte integer values from the received uh, data array, we can use bitwise operators to shift the MSB and LSB into position 
and then combine them into a single integer the expression received data uh, value 3 is left shift by 8 shifts the value of the msb for soil humidity and uh, left by 8 bits this effectively multiplies the values by 256 which moves it to the higher 8 bits of 16 bit integer the value of the lsb for soil humidity is odd with the shifted msb to combine the two values into a single 16 bit integer finally upload the code we get the all the values uh, the values are displayed in the serial monitor first is the soil moisture that is the humidity in percentage and then temperature in celsius ec electrical conductivity in microsecond per centimeter and then uh, ph value and nitrogen phosphorus potassium and phosphorus thank you for watching